and went home and was with the family and took some time off from softball and came back feeling really refreshed. And it wasn't the ideal year last year that I wanted, but I think I finished up second half a lot better after my injury. Um, but yeah, I think just taking that energy from all the practices so far this year into our season. Was that hard for you? I mean, you're kind of a softball rat, you know, as somebody who loves, loves the game and yeah. likes to immerse yourself in it. Um, I'm definitely an all or nothing kind of person. And so like when I'm at softball, I'm fully invested. But when I have my time off, like this summer, um, I took advantage of my time off and was doing other things. How are you guys feeling about the leadership coming back? Obviously, you guys lost eight seniors last year, but yourself a few other girls coming back are now the, the new veterans on the team. For sure. Um, I would describe our team as more young and energetic leadership. Um, so a different kind, just because we are so young, we have only six upperclassmen total. Um, but all of us play a really big part in the team. Um, so I think that we've been able to um, be good influences on the younger guys coming in, the transfer that came in, um, and kind of bringing everyone together. Mike was saying that he, sorry, no, Mike, was, Mike was saying that he feels like there was a rock underneath his pillow after the way that last season ended for you guys. Any motivation heading into this year because of how last season ended? For sure. Um, definitely just not taking anything for granted. You never know what can happen. Um, and I think we kind of have a little bit more of an underdog attitude this year because people do think we did lose eight seniors and like five star, a lot of starters. So um, I think in a way it's some pressure off. But I think it's like we have so much young energy and talent um, that's really molding together really well. Um, so yeah, that definitely has been a driving force for us all year long. You've hit all over the lineup throughout your career. Where do you see yourself hitting this year? Oh, wherever they put me. Um, <laughs> I like one. I like three. Um, wherever, wherever is best for the team. Um, yeah, wherever they put me, I, I, I don't really mind wherever. <laughs> After hitting 95 home runs last year as a team, Nikki's kind of your main power source coming back. Where do you see the power coming from in this lineup? Um, not me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, some of our freshmen, Mia, can really hit the ball far or long, long way. Um, definitely Nikki. Gwen has got some great power. Um, I'd say Lauren and I are more line drive hitters, and then we have a lot more small ball and speed this year. A lot faster team this year. Um, they make me feel slow now. <laughs> Does that affect your approach? Just it seems like stylistically this team's going to create runs different than last year's team. Does that affect your approach individually? Um, I would say I've always been like I've never been like a speed player or a power hitter. I've always been like a line drive gap to gap with power potential. So um, not really. Um, we've been working on small game more as a, as a club. Um, but for me, I just stick with my. I'm a line drive hitter. I've always been in. I wasn't made to hit 25 home runs, so. So you don't feel any need to force the issue a little bit just to try to produce some power? No, no. I, I'm at my best when I play my game, and my game's line drives. What do you just want to see out of yourself and the team, you know, coming up to at the start of the season when you guys go down in the uh, Kaji Capital Classic? Um, that's a good question. I would say bringing our energy that we've had and our, um, our chemistry. I feel really confident about our team chemistry. and putting it together against opponents because we've only been playing against each other. Like, I'm so tired of facing Clicy. I don't want to face her anymore because she's so good. Um, so I think putting our chemistry and our energy together against other people is going to be a really exciting thing, not just in preseason, but in the pack as well. How much of a better, you know, just a hitter does that make you when you do go up against, you know, your own pitching staff? Because they are very talented. Totally. Um, seeing different, they all kind of complement each other really well. So as a hitter, when we go through and practice and you only see Maggie once, Miranda once, and Megan once, and then Coach White, because he can throw everything, <laughs> then it really it really keeps you off balance. And we're always so lucky. We talk a lot in our program that we have so many arms that throw to us. Um, so it's definitely helpful for sure. I'm glad they're on my team. You guys have won four straight Pac-12 titles, but you were picked third this year in the Pac-12. Do you feel like that's a little bit of motivation for you guys, or is that, that hurt at all? Um, definitely motivation. Um, some could view it as like being hurtful, but I don't think we're really taking it that way. Um, it doesn't. Other people's opinions of how successful we're going to be in the future doesn't really like matter a lot to us. So we're just trying to stay in the moment and. If anything, use it as motivation. So turning it into something positive and using it as motivation. Great. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome.